All right. The second thing you're going to have to figure out once you attach <coughs> your lens to your uh, tube, your uh, toilet paper tube, and to your camera body is to figure out um, the distance this actually has to be to match um, your viewfinder. So, um, since our focusing is actually sliding the camera bellows back and forth to determine our focus or to match the two images to get our images in focus, um, you're going to have to use uh, the makeshift ground glass um, that we made to determine or to match the lens distance to the actual viewfinder. Um, first thing you need to do is just get uh, a subject, um, anything with uh, print and lettering is like the best, um, so when you actually use the viewfinder to focus, uh, you can actually uh, merge the letters together to make sure it's actually in focus. Uh, tape measure, uh, flat surface, and I found that the focusing um, up close or the closest focus distance that you can get um, from this viewfinder is four feet. So you just run your tape measure across um, and you actually will look into the camera or you could place the camera by the tape measure at the focus plane of the film at four feet and that should actually match your viewfinder like so that's pretty good so then you put your ground glass on the inside of the camera and with the lens on the camera, you want to just set it so that it is opened. Um, so you set it on either ball mode <clears throat> and then just keep the shutter open so that you can actually see the image, um, actual ground glass, and you just kind of continue to I'll show you. So that's our subject over there, and then here's our camera. Take this off the tripod. So at four feet, this is our four feet mark. Um, we want actually want our camera plane right here to match um, that distance like so so that when you actually look into the focusing viewfinder screen there everything is in focus and then you actually open up your shutter here and set it to bulb and that's so that you can actually when you look into uh, the ground glass you actually see an image so like right there it's a little hard to see because of the glare but you can definitely tell that there's uh, there's your cereal box there. Okay, so what you're gonna do with the tube is you actually, if the viewfinder doesn't match or the um, the lens doesn't match the viewfinder because of the distance. All you do is you start slowly cutting the tube down. So you would end up just chopping it like so, and then reattach the lens, and then you pretty much keep moving the lens. Uh,
closer to the body of the camera to create the distance uh, that you're going to need to get the film plane in focus. I know that's kind of hard to explain because um, I'm just not really showing you uh, or I can't show you the, the focusing screen um, from the back of the camera to the lens but what I found that is a perfect distance is actually um, it's about an inch and a quarter is the distance that you're going to need this tube to be cut down to to match the focusing screen here to the lens to the taking lens to the back of the camera so I hope that kind of helps if you have any questions like I said feel free to leave me a comment in this video or send me an email ole at photolay.com